Hello everybody and good morning. My name is Mindy Hilton. I am the director for Sense of Steel. And today we are gonna be talking all about Facebook parties. Um, I have not done an in-home party yet. Uh, the people in my area um, aren't interested in that just yet and I'm totally fine with that. Everybody's in a different place right now. So it is what it is. Um, Facebook parties all the way. The first thing I want to tell you guys is that you are never alone. We have all had amazing, ridiculous, insane, awesome parties, and we have all had absolutely nothing, zero, what the heck just happened parties. You're not alone. We've all had those. We've all had the kind where the host does nothing, the people do nothing, you feel like doing nothing. We've all had them. You're not alone. The objective is how do we move forward from that? How do we get over that? How do we still make that party a success for us? And what does that mean for you, a successful party? Okay, so first and foremost, I want you to think about if you were a guest at your own party, Facebook party, would you participate? Would you find it fun? Would you find it exciting? Would you find it interesting? Would you when you're scrolling, stop and look at, oh, this post looks fun, let me see what that is, and then click on the group and check it out. If your answer is no, then we've gotta do something about your parties because if you wouldn't even participate in your own party, we can't expect other people to participate, right? So day one is inviting the host, telling the host to invite their friends. What is the first thing that people see when they join that party? Is it an introduction about yourself? Why? Do they know you? Is that going to draw them in? Seeing someone who do, they don't know and a little bio about them, is that going to draw them in? Is it just the banner photo and the notification that you've posted in the description? Is that going to draw them in? What's going to draw them in? Are you posting too much to where it's overwhelming already and they feel like, oh, I've already missed the party. There's so much going on. You have to be strategic about what you're posting and when you're posting it. Day one, when I invite the host which is usually three days before the party starts. I'll send them the invite on Friday, the parties start on Monday, and sometimes Thursday night too, just depending on life, okay? The first thing that I want people to see is something that is going to be intriguing to them. For example, like the NFL collection right now, that is the first thing I want people to see. Why? Because we're headed into the playoffs. Everybody is so hyped up about their team. My team is not going into the playoffs and I'm still so hyped up about them. Win, lose, or tie. Steelers fan till I die. If I saw NFL, I would be like, uh, need it. Where's my Steelers? Do you have to post pictures of every single team? No. Why? Because if I signed on to a party and I saw 10 different teams, none of which were mine, I would instantly, boom, 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 boom. Do you have anything Steelers? Send me the link. I want to see that. Okay, so day one is usually three days until the party. The next post that fires off is something that's gonna catch their eye. It's not overwhelming, it's not too much, it's one I usually go with an LTO. Why? Because the bulk of my party, the skeleton of my party is our catalog. I don't want it to be flooded in there somewhere. So I start with the LTOs, they are special, they are fun, they are unique, they are different. You want people to want to get them as soon as they see them because they sell out so much faster than the catalog. So start with the LTO, day one, NFL. Next day, two days until the party, another LTO. Have you seen our Valentine's Day collection? It is so cute, it's insane. I wonder if this boy mom can get a pink glitter magenta mini warmer. You think I can? Any other boy moms out there that would get it? Be interactive already. Ask questions already. Don't wait for the host to do it. Get in there already, start going. Start asking questions, start interacting. Same thing on the day before. A party starts tomorrow, whoop, whoop. Can I get a woo woo, something fun, something exciting, something to make people laugh, okay? Show your personality, okay? Another LTO that next day. The official first day of the party, I, that's when I hit them with the introduction about myself. I do not go on a tangent. I post things about myself that are relatable to other people. I'm a military wife. People 
love that. Either they can connect with me because they're affiliated in some way also, or it just makes them feel good to say, thank you for your service. And I say, you're so kind. Thank you so much. Okay. I post that I'm a boy mom. A lot of people can relate to that if they're also boy moms. Oh, I have one boy and one girl, but I know what it's like, blah, 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 whatever. They go from there. I post that I teach dance because now I have the boy mom category taken care of, but I also have the little girl mom category taken care of too because I'm around little girls all the time. It's what I've been doing for years. People love that I teach dance class. They want to know about that. Oh, my daughter's taking dance. It's so cute. I know how much work goes into it, blah, 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 whatever. Post things that are relatable to anybody that is joining the party, to anybody. Try to pick things that people will find interesting, find exciting, find whatever, okay? The very next thing I do is the first three people to answer these questions, I have a party pack on its way to you filled with samples. I only do three. That is because I usually do three parties a week. That's nine party packs. That's a lot. That's enough. That's a lot, okay? We know that it gets up in price sometimes. And um, I do three. Now, if I have one party where maybe only one person responds to the post and another party where four people respond out, you know, I give and take a little bit with where it's at. Okay, this is all still day one. This is all still nothing really Scentsy related. From there, I post my party points. Why? Because people like to win. Everybody likes to win. Everybody wants to win. They don't care if it's a pencil or a sample of something. They want to win. Give them something to be competitive about because it's fun for people. People are driven by competition. People are driven by winning. Here's what you got to do. One point for this, five points for that, 15 points for this, 20 points for this. And then you guys, I go back and I update it throughout the party. It is a lot of work and it is hard and it is tedious. And there are times when I don't want to do it, but people want to see that they are winning or people want to see what they can do to get ahead and be the winner. Oh, if I just join her VIP group, I'll get 30 points and I'll be beating my sister or beating my friend. And then what happens? You have people joining your VIP group. They get 10 uh, points for every comment. So then they're commenting like crazy, like crazy in your party. You can't even stop the notifications from coming in because people want to win. They get 10 points for commenting, if they're behind 100 points and they just comment on 10 posts, they're, they're tied. 11 posts puts them in the lead, okay? Then the very last thing that I do on the first day is something that has even more nothing to do with Sensi and it's interactive and it's fun and maybe some of you have seen it, but it's the one that's like, um, which is the right order? Hair, makeup, clothes. Clothes, hair, makeup, makeup, clothes, hair, blah, 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 whatever. And it's fun, even if there happens to be a guy in your party. I had a guy in my party that was like, um, you're forgetting clothes, shave, hair. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry, shave, blah, 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 whatever. And then he edited it in to the picture. It was so cute and it was so fun. And I loved that he was so interactive with something that was a little bit more feminine. He was like, wait a second. Hold on. I don't do makeup, but I shave my face every day. That needs to be in here. I'm making a number seven. I do something interactive that has nothing to do with Sensi every single day of the party. Every single day, I do a post that is interactive that has nothing to do with Sensi because those are the posts that people are going to stop and see and comment on and like because they're fun. Then they comment on it and they like it. They see that their friends have liked it. Then they click on the group and now they're in the party. And now they see all of the products and all of the items that I'm posting about. And now I've got them in there. Every single day, my last post of the night is something that doesn't have anything to do with Sensi that is super, super fun. Would I participate in this post if I saw it? Would I, would I do that? If the answer is no, this one's kind of boring or I feel bored with it, I don't do it anymore. 
I take it out, bless and release that post, put a new one in there. There are so many interactive posts going around in so many different groups, not even Sensi groups, but friends that do other direct sales or just random people that post random interactive posts. Get them, take them, use them in your party. Who cares? It's fun. People want something fun. People don't want to be boggled down all the time. Buy my stuff. Ha ha ha. No. Which, which guy do you like? Which guy do you think is cute? Whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Pick one. Which one has to go? Tacos, bacon, whatever and whatever. Bacon's got to go. And I always write that. People are like, what? Bacon? Yeah, listen. I have tried bacon in every single form and I just don't like it. It is that smoked feeling in my mouth. I just can't get down with it. Girl, you're, and then they're talking to me about how I'm so crazy. I don't like bacon, but now I've like created a little relationship with this person and we're having fun because I don't like bacon and they think that I'm nuts and I've genuinely tried every single kind, even little bacon bits that people put on a salad. I've tried them guys. I've committed to trying, but it's fun for people to know that about me. It's just something fun. It's innocent. I'm not divulging my whole life story to them. I just don't like bacon. Sorry. I, I can't help it. After day one is done, then I go into the breakdown that probably a lot of us follow. Day one, wax and warmers, okay? But I don't just stop there. What else goes with wax and warmers? Scent and warmer of the month. Cotton cleanups. Why are you not posting about cotton cleanups on the same day you're posting about warmers and wax? They go together. Yes, they're always sold out. But you know what? If you get these in your Scentsy Club, they will give them to you first, before they do anything else with them. So here's a link to Sensi Club. You can get them. Why are you not posting about colored light bulbs on the same day you're posting about warmers and wax? Everything has to make sense. I've seen people post about the cotton cleanups, about the colored light bulbs, and about all of the other accessories on the last day of the party. Nobody is going to pay the shipping for one blue light bulb. But they will if they're already buying a warmer and a pack of wax and then they want the blue light bulb because you just posted about it, okay? Your posts have to tell a story. They have to guide the people where to go. We're talking about warmers. We're talking about wax. Yes, everything is 10% off this month, but typically speaking, it's not. So boom, here's a warmer and wax that are 10% off. It's called Send Warmer of the Month. How gorgeous is it? Get your cotton cleanups, get your colored light bulbs. Here's something that has nothing to do with Scentsy. Let's have a little bit of fun, okay? And I go from there, breaking it down. You know, the next day, the fan diffusers, the minis, the walls, the goes, the air purifiers, the pods. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't have to explain the breakdown to you, you know, from here on out because you guys all have a little plan that you follow also. I break it down from there after. I used to have two week long parties, three posts a day. That was not enough. It was boring. For me, I was bored. It was taking way too long. I was bored. And then I had one host say, hey, can we do a week-long party instead? I said, uh, sure. That was the sweet spot for me. I go Monday to Monday. So much more success because my posts are going. They're constantly going. I'm in your face. You see my post. You see my post. You see my post. You see my post. Every two to three hours. It's more in your face, more attractive, more exciting, the more they're being fired off than one post at nine, one post at one, one post at eight. That is doesn't work for me. Some people might have an insane amount of success with that, but if you don't feel like you're having the success you want in your parties, the first thing you should do aside from self-reflect, if you think your party is exciting or not, is change the time frame. If you're doing a week-long party and it's not working, try five days, try four days. If you're doing two weeks, try 10 days, try a week. You can fit everything you need to fit in a week. You can fit everything you need to fit in four days. You could do it in one. Change up your party, challenge yourself, and see what happens. All you have to do is see what happens. You don't have to commit to it for the rest of your life, but challenge, try, mix it up a little bit and just see what happens. That party was a game changer for me. I booked eight parties from that one party, eight. I got two people to join my team. Eight parties from that party. And 
a lot of the parties after that were equally as successful as that first party. All because I was like, well, sure, I'll try a week-long party. I've never done it before, but I'll try it. Obviously, to myself. I didn't say that to the host. But I tried something new. It was insanely successful, and I'm running with it until I feel the need to change it again. Okay? Change up your parties. Tell a story with your parties. Okay? Now, let's talk about hosts for just a second. Okay? I'm going to be brutally honest the success of your party is not in the hands of your host. Yes, it is so helpful when the host participates, but that's the key word. It's helpful. It is helpful. A host is never going to view a party the same way we do. It is never going to be as important to them as it is to us because this is our livelihood. It's never going to be as important to them as it is to us. It is a blessing when you have a host that is incredible. They almost make you look bad. It's what we all pray for. I want the host to make me look bad. I want to be like, well, I need to comment more because this host is showing me up. Yes, it's helpful. Yes, it's a blessing. I do not under any circumstances bog down my host with, this is a host coaching. Rah! I don't do that because I would be overwhelmed. When I did a party before I joined and I was told, comment on every post, I was like, I do not have time to do that. Sorry. How many other people are going to feel that way? I don't have time to comment on every post. I work a full-time job. Honey, this is your job. And the hosts that feel that are right. This is our job. Okay, so you have two options. Either the party wasn't successful because the host didn't show up. Or the party wasn't successful because I didn't show up because the host didn't show up. There comes a point in every single party where we've all been there. We're like, all right, this host is going to do nothing. It's obvious. We need to do something about it. So are you going to do something about it? Or are you just going to let the party go because the host isn't doing anything and these are their friends and I've told her what to do and she needs to be commenting and my host, my host, my host, complain, 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 complain. Nope. Bless and release that host and take matters into your own hands. Don't ever allow yourself to say the party wasn't successful because I didn't try. I'm going to say the party wasn't successful, but it wasn't for a lack of me trying. I have had parties where the host has done nothing, not even commented. I'm surprised she even joined the group. That's how little she did. And nobody, nobody commented on anything. The party was dead. But Facebook has a feature where you can see who's even looking at the posts. I went after those people. I reached out to those people. I thanked those people for supporting their friend. Because in some way, just looking at the post is being supportive. I booked three parties from that host. Or three, yeah, three parties from that party. Two of them are $500 parties. One of them became a Scentsy Club member that has a $100 subscription every single month. Raise your hand and say amen if you don't want a $100 Scentsy Club subscription every single month. Amen. That's halfway to active. You didn't even have to do anything. Every single month, guys. Because I didn't let the host affect my business. Nope, this is on me. If I want to book parties from this party, I've got to do something about it. I might not get any sales, and that's okay. But I will be booking parties from this party. I will be reaching out to people. I will at least be getting people in my VIP group. Okay? Do not let the host decide your business. Do not let the host decide your success. You get to decide that. You get to. You're the boss. You're in charge. It's not up to the host. It's helpful and it's great and it's wonderful. And we are like, oh, so thankful when we have an amazing host. But it's not up to them to deliver a successful party. It's up to us. Okay? I want to talk about going live too. Okay, I do go live in my parties. I go live almost every day. And I go live showing the products that I have on hand 
that go along with the products that I am posting about. I do not do one big long live. That takes 45 minutes to an hour. Number one, I don't have the time to do that myself. Number two, when I've been in parties and people have done one big long live for 45 minutes to an hour, I lose interest. I have so many other things going on. I'm putting away laundry, so I'm missing posts and I, I have to rewind, but you can't rewind because they're live and then you gotta scroll. I'm not scrolling back through an hour long video. I'm not doing that. Sorry, I gotta let my dog in. I do quick little lives talking about warmers and wax. Well, look, this is an element warmer. Uh, this is one of the ones that I have. It's an element warmer. I pick up the dish. I show them, you know, this is it, blah, blah, blah. Here's a little mini one. Look at how cute they are. Some people even will get two and put two in their kitchen because they're smaller. If they don't have a lot of counter space, they can put two up in the wall and still get, you know, the scent and not take up counter space. Here's the one that I have in my bedroom. Here's the one that I have here, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm done with my live for the day. Then the next day when I'm talking about fan diffusers and pods, air purifiers, let me show you this right here, guys. This is without a doubt a game changer. It is kid proof. It is mess proof. It is spill proof. It is pet proof. It is life proof. It is proof proof. If you do not have a fan diffuser in your life, like message me right now because that needs to change. And then I show them the fan diffuser that I have. I have, you know, I show them one with the light. I show them one without the light. I show them the Spider-Man one. I show them the air purifier. And then I show them my mini fan diffuser. I show them how you can plug it into the computer or plug it into your car. And then I'm done. I show them the pods, of course. And then I'm done with my live for the day. Why? Because people have five minutes. They usually have five minutes when they're in the bathroom, when they're sitting on the couch scrolling, they see something. Oh, this girl posted a video about something called a fan diffuser. I actually wanted to look at that. Let me watch this video real quick. And then it's five minutes of her time. She can hold her retention. <laughs> I can hold her you know, attention, whatever. And then we go on from there. Okay. So I don't do one big long live. I don't have the time to do that. I don't know very many people that have the time to watch that. And if that works for you, that's incredible. I know a ton of people who have this incredible setup. I have two wild children. I have another wild dog. My husband comes and goes like coronavirus. You know, it just, I, I don't have the time to sit down and do an hour long video, nor do I want to. I like doing it short and sweet. People can sign on quickly while they're at work and watch a three minute video on, let me just show you these cardboard clips real quick because these are my favorite without a doubt. It's like, it's not strong, it's not overpowering, but it's like a light burst of air every now and then while you're in your car. And I feel like they last a really long time. I love them, I always have them. Here's where I put them because I don't like them right in the middle. So I put one on each side. I am obsessed with these. If you're looking for car products, like please just try these and let me know what you think. Done. Some packs. Listen, I have two boys, it's already stinky, even though they're young. Here's where I put them in their closets. And then you can actually hang a scent circle inside of the diaper pail and that'll be insanely helpful. Done. Short, sweet, to the point. People don't have time. Some people do, but some people don't have time for this whole big, long thing. So I do not do one big, long live. I do short, little ones every day. When I talk about Scentsy Club, I pull out my bars discontinued, bam, discontinued and gone, bam, discontinued and gone and never coming back. Mandarin and mango, oh, it's strange, but I have it. It's not coming back, but I have it. Blue agave, I have it. You guys should have put it in your Scentsy Club, okay? Let me show you what else I get in my Scentsy Club. Here are my car bar clips that I get. And I get my cotton cleanups, and guess what, guys? These are out of stock on the website, but I got them. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What? How'd you get those? I need that. OMG, I'm obsessed with this scent. Can I put that in Scentsy Club? Yes, girl, put it in there. Here's the link. Okay? It is up to us to determine a party's success. If you stop trying because the host has checked out, then your party wasn't a success because you stopped trying. The host, they're never going to care as much as we do. They're never going to care as much as we do. To us, it's like, oh, come on. 
if the host isn't doing anything, I have a party right now, the host really isn't doing that much. So I sat down, I went through the comments, I responded to every single person that commented, which you should always do normally. Um, but even if somebody just liked the post, even if they liked it, they liked the picture of um, all of the different warmers that we have, real life pictures. I tagged her, I said, hey, da 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 da, see any new favorites? Which one do you love the most? And then she responds, guys. And then we're having interaction and then we're talking. And then, excuse me, and then she's buying stuff, okay? So I think, you know, I, I do a lot of Facebook parties on purpose. I do about three a week. I try to do 10 to 12 a month. Um, it's crazy and it's really busy, but it's worth it. And I feel like I push myself to get a little bit better with every single party because I want to be the best. And I know you guys too. And I want people to say to me, you are so fun. Oh my goodness. That was the most fun party I've ever been to. When people say that to me, it's like, ah, yeah, woo, 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 woo. We're going out for chips and queso, baby, and Cole Stone on the way home. <laughs> okay, we're celebrating. So just key points. Is your party exciting? Would you participate in your own party, truthfully? Because there was a while there where the answer for me was no. I said, this party is boring. My party's boring. I need to do something about it. I need to start from scratch and start over and redo it. Party was not exciting. Boring, slow, uninteresting, lame. So I changed it up. Okay, yeah, I'll play. I get dressed. I do my hair and then I do my makeup. Someone's got to go. It's bacon. Let me hear your unpopular opinion. Mine is sushi and bacon are nasty. That one's my day two post at 7 p.m. Hit me with your most unpopular opinion. Mine is bacon and sushi are disgusting. What? You don't like sushi or bacon? Nope. I tried. Well, I've tried the rice off of the sushi. I'm not going in for the whole thing. Sushi is nasty. Like I said, I tried a piece of rice on the outside. <laughs> but to go in for the whole thing, um, nope. Bacon, I tried. But it gets people interacting with me on day one of the party or day two of the party. It gets people interacting with me. It gets people to enjoy talking to me. It gets people excited and fun. What's she going to post next? Girl, check out this fan diffuser. You need it. Okay? Be interactive. Be fun. Make sure your parties are fun. Change it up. If you feel like you're stale in your parties... You have to change it up. You have no option because if it's stale and nothing's going on, that means you're stale. It feels stale to you too. If it feels stale, change it up. Take it from 14 days to 10. Take it from 10 days to 8 or to 7. Change everything. I'll tell you what. I took away the post about the um, charitable cause warmer. And I put it in with the other warmers because I have never gotten any responses on that post ever. And I try to highlight it because people love to donate. I have never gotten one response. And it was the first thing I would post on Saturday mornings was charitable cause. It wasn't working. I swapped it out with the pet products. Why? Because every time I post about the pet products, I always say, it's show your fur baby day. And guess what? People love to share pictures of their dogs and their cats or their birds or whatever else they have. So Saturday morning, my Facebook is ding, 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 because people are sharing pictures of their dogs. And then I'm in there, oh my gosh, so cute. This one looks so snuggly. Ah, I love her, blah, 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 whatever. Like, I mean, they're genuine responses, but I'm, I'm able to respond to people first thing in the morning, 9 a.m. on a Saturday, instead of posting charitable cause warmer and then <laughs> no response ever. That wasn't working for me. I had to self-reflect. I had to switch it up. I had to find a different solution to draw people in on Saturday mornings. People are home. People are relaxing. They're on the couch watching TV, scrolling. But someone's asking me to post a picture of my dog. I'll do it. Boop, boop, boop. Done. Oh, so cute. Have you ever tried this? Blah, blah, blah. Whatever, whatever, whatever. Go from there. Challenge yourself. Mix it up. Try something new. You never know if you just swap two posts if it could be a whole game changer for you. You don't know that. So try it today while you're doing your next parties. 
okay? Not every party is going to be a $500 party. Not every party is going to be a $200 party. Not every party is going to have sales. There will be parties starting today for the rest of the time that you decide to do Sensi that will have zero. Accept it and move on from it. But know that that happens to everybody. Don't let it be because you stopped trying. Don't let it be because you stopped trying. Let it be because of the universe, something else, but not because you checked out because the host checked out. Don't ever allow yourself to say, it didn't work out because I didn't try. Nope. It didn't work out, but not for lack of trying. I have blood, sweat, and tears over that party. Nobody was just interested in buying, and that's fine. But I booked three parties off of that party because I'm a beast. You go after what you want. What makes a successful party to you? If nobody is buying anything in the party, which is the first objective, right? You, I, I genuinely love getting people their host rewards. Giving away free stuff, half price stuff. I genuinely love it. It makes me happy. So the first goal, obviously, is to be able to do that for the host. The second goal is to book as many parties as I can from that party. I leave nobody behind. If you have commented, ordered, liked, looked at, I am messaging you. Why? Because I've said it before and I'll say it again. I'm a shark and I'm hungry and I want what I want. And what I want is parties. I will ask everybody, everybody. I do not add everybody to my personal page. I do not friend request everybody in the party. That's my personal choice. I don't want to do that. I friend request people that order and I friend request people that um, do the uh, party pack post so that I can message them. I do not friend request everybody because I don't, I don't want to. That's my personal choice. You do what you're comfortable with. But I will ask everybody to party and I will tag them in the party. Hey, so-and-so just sent you a PM. So then they go and look for it. Okay? If you want it, you go get it. You think a shark waits to eat? Oh, I don't want that fish. No, I want that fish. I want every single fish in the ocean because I'm hungry. I want all the parties. I want them all. Three parties every week. Every month, every year. I want them. I'm going to go get them. I will ask 40 people to get two yeses, 16 no's, and the rest ghost. But guess what? Oh, well. I've gotten to a point where I don't let that affect me and my mood and my positivity or negativity towards this business. I know if I want three yeses, I have to ask at least 40 people, 30 people. Oh, well, I know that. I know the majority of the people are not even going to respond. I know uh, after that, most people are going to say no. And from there, I hope to at least get two, three, four, five yeses. I book them up. I do not let myself get upset and throw in the towel about people not booking parties or not responding. Why? Because it's not for a lack of me trying. I tried. I reached out to everybody. They don't want to do it and they feel uncomfortable telling me no. That's fine. I feel weird telling people no sometimes too. But I don't have any parties booked, but it's not for a lack of trying. Mm -mm. I have 12 parties every month because I ask 150 people every single month. I do not do one day booking blitz. I don't do that. Why, why are you waiting? The party's ended. People know what's going on. People are hot. People remember your face. They're still interested. They might even think the party's still going on. And then you go in and get them. I want to ask people when they still know who I am, not a week and a half later and they don't know who I am anymore, okay? So here's what we're gonna do today or tomorrow. If you don't have time today, you will set aside time today or tomorrow to do this. You're gonna go take a look at your parties. Number one, are they interesting to you? Would you participate? Would you? If the answer is no, take them out. Start over. Start from scratch. 
I want you to change the time frame of your parties. Just try it with one. You don't have to, if you have three parties booked that are all starting on Monday, you don't have to redo them all. Just tighten up one of them. See what happens or make one a little bit longer. See what happens, okay? Just challenge yourself. Try something new. Do not hold the host accountable for the success of your party. Try to not even talk about it. Sometimes we say, oh, I just have a host that's doing nothing. And she seemed like she was so much fun and she's not doing anything. Try not to do that. Try to self-reflect and say, okay, she's not doing anything. What can I do to make this party a success? What can I do more of to make this party a success? If people aren't commenting, tag the people that are liking it and talk to them about it. Okay? If people aren't commenting or aren't liking, they're looking at it. Tag the people that are looking at it. Okay? Go from there. Change it up. Try something new. Look for interactive posts. Do an interactive post every day that has nothing to do with Sensi. Not a sense circle game doesn't count. It's interactive, but it has to do with Sensi. Try something that has nothing to do with Sensi and see what happens. It might flop, but it might be the deciding factor. You won't know unless you try it. Okay, you have to constantly evolve. You have to constantly change. You have to constantly grow with your parties. Okay, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below or you could tag me or message me, reach out to me. I would love to help you guys. Thank you so much for having me today and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye.